In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Experient Creator 3.5 to import another Google 3D Warehouse model, but this time I'm going to show you how to add real-time uh, physics. So let's begin by opening up Experient Creator. Go to the Asset Browser tab, select Meshes, Terrain, and we're going to drag and drop our smart object to add a basic terrain to the scene. Going back to the Scene Objects tab, I've created a reference point so we can zoom in on our terrain. I'll zoom out a little bit here and then we will import our model from Google 3D Warehouse. I browsed for a car and we're going to use this model. Simply found your, your download link and drag and drop into your experience creator scene. We'll stick with the defaults on the import uh, dialog box, clicking OK. And we've imported our car into the scene, but you can see that our car is a little bit too big. Let's go to our scene objects tab. And what we'll do is group all of these meshes into a single group. We'll car, call that car body. And then we'll scale this down a little bit. Zoom in on our car body. Maybe zoom, scale that down a little bit more. Next is to add real-time physics so we can drive our car around. Going back to our Assets Browser tab, we're going to select the Vehicles folder. And in the Vehicles folder, we have a smart object called Car Chassis. We're going to drag and drop that smart object into the scene. And we now have our physics chassis imported into, uh, into the scene. What we have to do now is do a little more scaling and aligning. As you can see, our real-time physics chassis is a little bit smaller than our body. So what we'll do is select our body again and we'll just scale that down a little bit more. That's getting a little bit better. just a little smaller. Now we want to line up the centers of our two objects. An easy way to do that is by holding my shift key on the keyboard I'm going to select both of our objects in the scene objects tree and I'm going to go to tools, align objects. Now I get an align dialog box. I select the object that I want to center using that as the reference. And now I select the X, Y, and Z positions. And essentially what that's done now is it's lined up the axes of both of the objects in the scene objects tree. Okay, if we zoom in, you can see we're getting a lot closer now to a proper scale of our car body next step is to replace the existing box body with our imported car body. That's simply done by selecting, dragging, and dropping into the car body group. What that has done is essentially taking the car body group physics animation and applied that to our car body mesh allowing us to drive our car around with real-time physics. Though we still have to do a little more aligning here. So we can ro rotate our scene a little bit here. And our car body is selected. Now rotate our car. Okay, I 
think we're good for the alignment. Let's take a one last check. Okay, the next step is to move our model a little bit closer to the surface of the train before we start. Okay, let's give it a test. Pressing play, and there you have it. See how easy it was for me to import a Google 3D warehouse model and very easily add terrain and real-time vehicle dynamics to add uh, driving capability to a model from Google 3D Warehouse. If I change our view here just a little bit, you can see how the suspension is working and that it is real-time physics that are being calculated with the four wheels. If you'd like additional information about uh, smart objects, we've created a new section on our website. Go to www.experient.com and you'll notice a link on the main page called Smart Objects Videos. And on that page, we've got a download link where you can download the latest smart objects that we've created to go along with the videos on this page.